Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 The Long Game. So last episode, we put some effort into finishing this duplication of our Cross River main line and really leaning into this, uh, this sort of new freight setup that we thought of the episode before. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with how it's gone so far, and uh, let's continue the development of our network. Now, before we go any further, we definitely need to talk about something. <laughs> so if we have a look at how our sort of last mile-ish um, freight distribution stuff works between our major hubs, we're running all on boxcars. Now, we're running boxcars because when I played it previously, I probably used some custom assets, which were boxcars that accepted all types of freight. However, if we look at the most likely default boxcars we're using, they don't. <laughs> So what it means is we are missing out on bricks specifically and we're missing out on fuel. So this is a big fail for us. <laughs> um, massive fail and we need to fix that right now. Um, so we're going to be adding some uh, state cars and also tank cars to all of our last mile services. So I'm going to go through and do that first of all. So looking at our Laredo to LA freight Probably what we want to do here is duplicate this train run two, and then we'll split the sort of vehicles we've got available um, across the two. So we will get a new um, 10 wheeler running. I'm going to move across half of our box cars and then we will get some flat cars and we will share those between them. And we'll also add on some tank cars as well. And let's see how that goes. I don't know if that will be perfect, um, but we're definitely going to start getting some more goods moving, whereas we didn't really have much going on before, I guess. So let's see how that goes. I will also make those same modifications to the rest of those uh, distribution type lines. All right, here we go. Much better. So we are now seeing bricks uh, wanting to go in these... Uh, um, last mile services, which we were not seeing before. So it looks like crisis averted there. <laughs> so I'm really lucky and really glad that I actually worked out that that is what was going on. Because otherwise I would have just been playing this game forevermore, not really knowing why, um, you know, half my trains were making a loss because I'm a bit silly like that. I do want to quickly make a change here at Laredo. So Laredo hasn't been getting goods in, um, so it hasn't really had the opportunity to grow. I think it's actually doing pretty good considering, um, but we have the opportunity. We've got this now sort of hub station here, and we can probably just put road vehicles going down to Laredo, probably avoiding having to take this long route around and maybe going more direct. So let's make that happen. Uh, we do need to actually connect a road up to our station because we don't have one right now. And we should be able to do just a simple sort of unload stop uh, pretty much in the center of the city. That covers everything we need right now. And yeah, let's just get some uh, carriages running here. All right, nice simple one there, and that will allow us to help Laredo grow a little bit more as well. Looking at Dayton South over here, we've got heaps of uh, food wanting to go on this line. Um, so some of it is using this as a bit of a shortcut to get through to the, um, I guess, to Oklahoma City South, but a lot of it is dropping off at Dayton here. So what I think I'm going to do, we might actually get a... Um, a train that is just boxcars for this one because there is so much demand here. Um, and I think that's still fitting with the overall sort of, um, I guess, feel of what we're trying to do here. I, I don't necessarily think there's a problem with doing that. So we'll get that built and running on this train. And yeah, that should hopefully um, help clear up the backlog of food we've got waiting to go out. I've also realized these big major trains need to be switched over as well, um, which I, for whatever reason, didn't think of. So we will be switching those over to also run 
um, some f uh, state cars and also some fuel cars. All right, so I'm going to make those modifications and we'll also get an additional, well, we know we didn't want an additional three on there. Let's sell two of those. An additional one, which should um, hopefully help those other types of, uh, of freight flow between those major stations. I'm observing here as well that our construction materials plant doesn't have anywhere near enough stone. Uh, so we've got plenty of marble that's coming in in droves across from our uh, marble mine at Laredo, but yeah, not enough stone. Um, it's partially a capacity constraint, I guess, because we are running off uh, these sort of small horse-drawn carriages to transport our stone from our stone quarry over to um, our big LA freight station. So we can fix that by boosting the capacity a little bit on this line um, by adding a few more road vehicles. And we have, obviously, we've got the slightly bigger um, covered wagons now as well. So I'm going to get a, probably a significant amount more on there um, to see if we can help boost that throughput. All right, and while that's all sort of percolating away, hopefully improving in, uh, you know, the performance of our freight network while uh, that's sort of, you know, kicking into gear, um, we do want to move forward and look to our next sort of major corridor and i'm thinking a great idea that we could look at is if we utilize our large station here at dayton we could run uh, tracks through richmond onto lakewood lafayette and then terminate at roseville um, that does give us major opportunities to um you know do some more with the goods uh, capacity we've got on our network we've got plenty of goods change we could potentially use here and i think that might be just what we do. So I want to position my stations first. Um, Richmond um, is not too bad. Um, uh, the majority of our residential is on this right hand side of the town, but I think there's some sort of further afield. So good opportunity to get a nice passenger uh, network within the city there. I think we might add an extra square on our grid here and put our station pretty much right there. Next, looking at Lakewood. Lakewood is a little bit trickier, but still pretty decent. Um, and we've got a good opportunity to get a station probably in this weird sort of mini grid bit that seems to be unutilized. So we'll get it right along there. Uh, once again, we'll help them out by extending their grid just a little bit. And through there, this is a really weird Really weird little um, town that's growing here. I don't mind it though. Um, it's a little bit, I guess, unique. Um, and I do like that the sort of separation that you've got between the industrial and the residential parts of town. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool looking town, Lakewood. All right, next we've got Lafayette. Lafayette is another somewhat strangely shaped town, but uh, I think it's fairly usable. Uh, I think we'll probably have our station at the end of this road here um, and once again we'll utilize a public transport network to get people to the station. Finally Roseville uh, we will use a terminating station we'll put it to four tracks though I don't think we'll probably use the four tracks um, but we've got pretty decent coverage there and once again we can expand it using some carriages. Cool now we just need to connect everything up I think based on the sort of density of industries we have along this corridor, I think we might go dual track the whole way. Um, if it was somewhere maybe towards this sort of area here, this Chesapeake Charleston type um, corridor, we might have some sections of uh, single track. Uh, but yeah, definitely I think we're going to be well utilizing this stretch. And we've got pretty much, I reckon we can pretty much just run straight in here. If not too much effort at all. Yeah, that's actually a really easy straight track. I love it. Uh, that's going to be a beautiful high speed track once we get that far. Through to Lakewood is going to be a little bit more challenging because we've got a few hills we need to navigate, uh, which we don't want to go through at this point. 
Um, but I think, yeah, it's still looking all right. Alrighty, and we've got our final stretch uh, across our sort of three rev rivers. It's a bit of a delta here um, through to Richmond and then on the way to Terminator Dayton. Okay, so this might be a little bit trickier, but I think we're still in a pretty good position here. I reckon we're still able to bridge here. That is very low. That is definitely not bridging. Those ones again, that is very low. I'm sure a small boat could fit under there. <laughs> and from there we need to like head back up this hill. <laughs> Disaster. I think we're almost better to dig it out, right? Hmm. Let's redo this bridge actually and have it go a bit flatter. That might help us to get across. Now, I'm not wanting to connect up there. No, that's... Uh, no, it does, does still want a tunnel and we might not really have a choice, uh, to be honest. We might just need to grin and bear it, as they say. Uh, but yeah, from there, we're going to be coming across quite significantly and going to try and more or less just head up um, across. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. Uh, it's going to take a bit of effort to get a decent connection through, I think. There's going to be quite a bit of bending here. Yeah, not ideal. Uh, but I, I think it's, I think it's a decent connection. All right, final connection through to Dayton now. We are wanting it to tunnel again, which is no good. We don't want that. Okay, cool. It was on the like force height option, which we did not want. All right, lovely. That last connection is now made. Um, I need to spend a bit of time uh, just doing our like crossovers, uh, some signaling. So probably rush through that and I'll be back with you soon. Whatever reason, uh, the auto signals don't want to build. So we'll just go to the other side and try again. All right, they built now. That is good. And nope. They didn't build in the other direction again. Okay, there we go. They built. For whatever reason, they were not wanting to. But that is it. Yeah, perfect. So we're all signaled up. Uh, we've got all our double track lay. And now we are ready uh, to get our new passenger line into operation. So we'll get a new line set up, first of all. Beautiful. And we'll call this the Dayton to Roseville passenger line. Uh, 
and we can get a new train set up to run on that line as well. We will be going back to the 460, old reliable here, and we've unlocked some new cars as well. So these are lower capacity, um, but they seem to be generally a little bit better. Much higher top speed we can see. And yeah, I think we might jump in and use these ones. I'm just going to run one for the moment. Obviously, that's not a massive uh, capacity for our line, but uh, it'll allow us to, I guess, test um, what sort of demand we have on this line and we can really go from there. Alrighty, now looking at what we've got available here around sort of this Roseville Lafayette uh, corridor. Fuel is probably the most important one we can do right now. So obviously we do have fuel over at LA. That's on literally the opposite side of the map. And we're definitely not going to be getting everything through, you know, as far as uh, Everett, etc. And even further, you know, to Lafayette. It's just not going to go that far. We're going to be preferencing closer um, stations. So... We've got an opportunity here to start producing some fuel on this side of the map. And we will set up a bit of a, uh, a chain here. So we have um, crude oil over here at Roseville and at Lafayette. We've got our oil refinery and then we have our fuel refinery as well. So first let's get our cargo station here. We're going to place it fairly close to our uh, main line. Maybe. Depends if we can uh, actually... Get the coverage i probably should have checked that first but whatever yeah we've got coverage there perfect uh now question is which of our oil wells are going to be the best for us might even be this one over here um i don't know if this is too close to run a train it probably is let's do it anyway We need a passing loop. I don't think we even need a passing loop. Um, we can probably run this just off two trains, I would suggest. But we'll see how we go, and if we want to extend it, we can. And our station at our fuel refinery. Uh, once again, let's go a four tracker here. Nice and close to the main line. Though the raids may be a bit of a challenge, actually. Let's see. I think from this direction, we're probably going to be fine. Ooh, apparently not, actually. Might need quite a big uh, sort of... Oh, no. That one's perfectly fine. Uh, in this direction, however, it looks like we're probably going to need a significant um, sort of run in to get there. Let's see if this will work. Nope, it is not even close. Wow. So this is actually going to need massive, massive connection and we might not even be able to do it. It wants to tunnel, it wants to do everything under the sun. So, how far or how close can we get here before we all snap on? That's actually absolutely crazy, I'm not going to lie. I'm willing to give it a go. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, that's a, it's an interesting connection we're making here and it's not the most efficient. Certainly not. We could definitely run this one though as our um, sort of freight hub area for or this section of track. We probably won't use it for that right now because we're not having a, a hell of a lot flow through here and we also don't have our freight station set up on this, um, on this corridor. But we can definitely get our um, oil lines set up and start producing some oil that we can um, start to feed around the place. And we don't have anywhere for our um, fuel to go right yet, but Lafayette is obviously going to be one, and we can probably do that as a um, a road route, I would suggest. So I might get that set up to go. Cool, let's get vehicles on each of these lines and start to get everything moving. And as you can see, we've got our first train arriving on our new Roseville Corridor line uh, running from Dayton. So we're going to hop on and run in from Roseville through to Lafayette. Hope you enjoy it. And there we go. That was a nice, quick, easy, and simple uh, little ride-along. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying these ride-alongs. Well, that is going to be about it in terms of what we've got time for in this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to all my social media in the description. So please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. A big shout out to my Founders Club patron, Caleb. Thank you so much for your support and making this happen. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Transport Fever 2, The Long Game. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.